Hello, welcome to this Combodo 123 session. I'm Erwan Talok, one of the founders of the ITOR project, and today I will explain how to create an Excel report based on an ITOP or QL query. So the first thing you have to do when you want to create a report is to define an OQL query within the query phrase book, which is located in the admin tool section. The query phrase book allows you to save different queries, for example here, query for monthly report. If I modify this query, I will get the different uh, attributes, so the name to define the query and to identify it, a description, an expression where you can store the query, the OQL query you would like to execute, and these sections which allow you to define the fields you are interested in in your request. Those fields can be found within the object data model, for example this one for user request. So you have to define and select the attribute code you are interested in. Once you have saved your query, ITOP will prompt with a web service you can use directly in Excel to retrieve the data. So what you have to do is just to select this URL. You just have to copy it uh, and paste it within a brand new Excel document. So to insert this query within Excel, you have to use the data tab from web. And when you get this, um, Excel prompts you for entering a URL, so you just have to copy past the URL you get from ITOP and click on OK to retrieve the data. If you are not connected yet to ITOP, you will be prompt to enter your ITOP login and password. When I click on Import, Excel will prompt me to enter the data within a given cell. For example, cell dollar A dollar one, which is the first cell in the top left corner. So I click on these uh, cells and I retrieve my data automatically. Let's imagine that last time I ran the report, I got less um, row or lines. Okay, this one. If I click on update, automatically Excel connect to ITOP and retrieve the data. So the interest here is I will be able to automate my report based on a few basic query. So now what I have to do is to, for example, just select all my uh, columns and insert a dynamic graph. For example, I will create a graph with the number of requests grouped by organization. I just have to copy past my graph within another Excel sheet in order to build a small dashboard. I will rename it to dashboard and that's it. I click on the second one, maybe I can rename as well this Excel sheet user request, list of user requests in order to identify it. Okay, and I will create a new dynamic graph. For example, the number of query by origin, etc. etc. So I copy past and here I create my report. So now I just have to define the report I want. For example, here is a finalized report where I got my monthly report with the number of requests, requests per user, per priority, per day and per hour, etc. etc. If I want, I can as well hide the different Excel sheet that allow me to build my report in order just to keep the basic stuff. Here it is. Okay. Now I can save this document and just send it to whoever in my company and they will just have to open the, the Excel document and using the data sections, click on update in order to update the report. Thanks for joining these sessions and see you next time for a new sessions and new example about how to use ITOP.